Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for instead of 14 days with today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 31st of March, last day of the month, and also Easter Sunday, Easter Day. So, um, we're going to send out beyond that with the CFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that will get us into the second half of April. I should get on back for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video release today was our 6M UK weather forecast. We've also released the European Outlook. So check out those two bids if you'd like to, to like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for uh, Gab's weather bids. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, fluffy merch is uh, released. So if you'd like to get yourself a fluffy merch from Gab's weather bids, this is uh, how it's looking. Um, now we've got the uh, the fluffy mug. We've got the fluffy coaster and the fluffy pin there as well. And inside the uh, lovely mugs, you will also find some. This is what I like. <laughs> some uh, very nice chocolate. Um, no, we've got Cadbury's mini eggs. We've got uh, we've got um, cream eggs, and we've got Maltesters there as well, keeping the buddy theme going, of course. Um, so I'm having to uh, really, you know, control myself not to start nibbling, <laughs> nibbling all of that chocolate. I do love a bit of chocolate. Um, so, uh, there, that's the uh, Gaz Webber's Fluffy Merch. Anyway, everyone, if you'd like a little bit of Fluffy Merch, what you need to do is go to the uh, Gaz Webber's PayPal account. you find a link to that in the description with this video. Go to the uh, Gaz Webber's PayPal account. And uh, send fifteen pound with a little note saying it's for fluffy merch or for fluffy, um, and uh, we shall get uh, that fluffy merch out to you for Easter. It's another revenue stream that's helping to pay for me to uh, be able to do this for everybody. So thank you so much uh, to all of you for getting involved and uh, you know buying your fluffy merch. Good you I suppose I can say thank you, fluffy as well. Have a I Suppose I have. <laughs> thanks, Fluffy. Um, right, okay, sectoring temperature is... Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Sectoring temperature is now sitting at 8.1. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry, everybody, the cost back again <laughs> today. Uh, that's two and a half degrees above 61 to 99 average. That's for visual to yesterday to the uh, 20th of March. Showing into quite a mild month, hasn't it, despite having... A pretty cold start. These are the GFS upgrade temperature uh, precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks with the London team. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but they are going to come down and we are going to have cold snap into the uh, weekend before the upper air temperature of every term close to average, but getting nowhere as high as they have been over the past uh, few weeks. So as we said, Jesse, the, the very uh, prolonged bio spell. Looks like he's running out of road. A cold snap and then just hovering close to long-term long -term average. But I think more noteworthy than uh, the temperature, what's happening with the upper air temperatures, what's happening with precipitation here. So the next few days could be reasonably dry, although there will be some showery rain still to come. But uh, into next week, you see some very uh, alarmingly large precipitation spikes there. Um, no, any time from about the beginning of next week onwards, right way into uh, the start of April, and particularly over the Easter period, unfortunately, have got some very, very large precipitation spikes here. So, um, although the mild spell looks like it's running out of road, it does also the deluge could be coming back. So, cool and wet, really, could be uh, the way forwards as we go through the last week of March. Into the beginning of April, we might have a little bit of a drying trend starting to uh, show up there around here. But, of course, that's a long way off. It's extended range, and therefore, it is unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 21st to 29th of March, coming out around to slightly below average. Precipitation anomalies from the 21st to 29th of March, they're coming out wetter than normal, especially so in northern and western regions. The latest wind from that from Earth, no school .net shows, but we've got quite a big area of low pressure around Iceland today. There's a weather system that's uh, pushing into the north. And the West Country as well. Behind that, the air mass is changed. So, this is how the cold snap comes in for tomorrow and into the weekend. We will start drawing in behind that cold front or that front there. Um, we'll start drawing in a polar maritime airstream. And eventually, that could become an Arctic or polar airstream for a while over the weekend. Okay, so let's go through the uh, chart data then. It's the latest UK Met Europe run. It's looking big night on Sunday. Talking about an Arctic airstream. 
That's what we're seeing here. Low pressure has been, has been shifted off into the North Sea. Winds have turned into the northwest and even into the north. And the air is originating from an Arctic source up here and pushing southward. So it is turning uh, not only cooler but colder through the weekend. Into the side next week, low pressure then comes back in from off the Atlantic. So that's how we uh, end the cold snap. We will cut off that northerly supply, bring low pressure back in. From off the Atlantic, but we are still on the cool side of the chair, and then we start getting these deep areas of uh, low pressure developing. So, um, just a very, very unsettled look to the weather there with the UK there as we go through next week. That's why we get to to uh, midnight on Thursday next week, 28th of March, with a deep low, nine seven five nine um, six five, I think, millibars at the core of that low, for example. <coughs> So, sorry, once again, everybody, Icon once again takes that low pressure over towards Scandinavia on Sunday night, uh, or Saturday night, Sunday morning, and uh, pulls in a northwesterly, northwesterly, and low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic. Uh, increasingly deep areas of low pressure through next week. Looks very, very unsettled indeed, with bouts of rain heading in from off the Atlantic. It won't be as cold over the, uh, as it is over the weekend through to the... Uh, through to next week, but it will still be rather cool because we are on the cool side of the uh, jet stream. And then the KMA is uh, looking like this. So again, we bring low pressure in from off now. So maybe a little bit more of an easterly, and it's rather colder uh, with the KMA through the middle part of uh, next week. That could see some of the precipitation turn to snow, especially over high ground. Um, heading into the Easter period, well, it looks very unsettled, doesn't it? Low pressure just churning away there. By the very end of KMA, possibly signs of some higher pressure starting to ridge up for the south at the beginning of April, but of course that is a long way off. <coughs> oh, sorry, everybody, the GFS midnight run. Uh, again, we're, we're going to get to the end of this. Has uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic and increasingly deep low pressure uh, into uh, next week. You know, looking actually quite stormy there, for example. That's midnight next Wednesday. So central pressure there, I think, could be going down to about 955 millibars. Really deep, cyclonic, low pressure areas. And But low pressure keeps on going into the east of here as well. That's day 10, east of Sunday, 31st of March, still dominated by low pressure. Into the extended, we start to raise the heights in the Atlantic. Uh, we get Middle Atlantic Ridge down towards Greenland, sent below over into the North Sea. Start bringing back a northwesterly or northerly wind again. So early April turns colder here on the uh, GFS Big Dyke Run. And say pretty unsettled as well with low pressure to our south and to our east too. That's how we end up. Uh, high pressure weight to the northwest, low pressure over in the low countries. And we're bringing in that chilly northeasterly wind. The GFS 6Z uh, is not much of a much. It's increasingly deep areas of low pressure through next week. That looks quite stormy potentially on uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. The low pressure just sits to our west, just keeps on coming, throwing up the rain bands into the Easter period as well. Beyond Easter, uh, GFS 6A is also <laughs> keeping things unsettled. No real raise of pressure today with either of the, the GFS operation runs. So There's a high pressure building over Scandinavia, but that's not doing much for us to keep these lows at bay. So very unsettled with both GFS runs today all the way to the end of them, which gets 6th of April. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and uh, let us know what you think about this and all the other videos content. And don't forget to friends about guys, whether it's guys, whether it's, you show everybody for doing that. We need to put on around 47 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, <coughs> tell your friends and family to subscribe. <coughs> I don't show you what's more. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Okay, GM, again, putting down that northerly wing on Sunday, and then uh, low pressure trying to head in from off the Atlantic through next week. In fact, really cyclonic. Look at this low here to our south and southwest in the middle part of next week. That will bring up a lot of rain for the south and the west with it. The low pressure sits over the top of the country into the east of weekend as well, bringing further bouts of rain with it. And then uh, the ECM looks like that. So once we've got this northerly, cool, well, northwestly to northerly uh, over weekend, but the cold snap coming through. And then next week, it's all low pressure, low pressure, low pressure. Maybe not quite as deep with the areas of low pressure. Um, no, this is a little bit more like the KMA, actually, into the middle of next week. More of an easterly flow 
which is a rather cold of throw as well. Means areas of low pressure being di diverted from the northwest to the um, southeast. So the northern half of the country might end up with quite a dryish week actually next week on the ECM. So it's still very wet, I think, for more southern regions. And as I said, there is more of an easterly flow. And that's a colder flow, so it's a bit more wintry potential for next week as well with uh, the ECM. Might be a little bit of a synoptic outlier, we'll find out in a moment. Um, we end up going into Easter again, not quite as unsettled, still a bit more higher pressure to our north and northeast. So, um, you know, maybe not quite as wet with the ECM. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetcho.com. Down comes cold front tonight and into tomorrow morning. That takes a long time to clear from the southeast, by the way, tomorrow. So, I mean, extreme southeast could be quite a wet day. But behind that, we've got these wintry showers packing into northern and western regions over the weekend. One or two of those even get down in towards the uh, Midlands and the southeast as well on Saturday afternoon. Um, then we go to Sunday and low pressure tries coming in from down. It's taken quite a while to get in, not really till Monday. Low pressure start coming in, some snow up there for uh, Scotland. Uh, and then quite a wet scenario through the middle part of next week for England and Wales. So some heavy rain coming through. Some of that does turn to snow across Ireland and also parts of northern England as well. Uh, they seem a little bit so down south there into the latter part of next week. Of parts of Wales, South West England, and uh, the Midlands there. Uh, otherwise, it just looks a very, very wet, wet week next week, I have to say. And uh, even by Easter Day, we've got more heavy rain threatening down in the south. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for um, day 10. Which gets, hang on, that's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong year. Hold on, that. Uh, it's a mistake. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I saved it. I saved it, didn't I? I got my 2023 20, mixed up with my 2024. There we go. Let's do that again. <laughs> These are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 31st of March, actually. Wouldn't believe that, would you? Um, we've got 32 members of the ECM Ensembles with low pressure to our south and southwest, and we're drawing up the wind. The sub leader, it's so looking quite just gapping, gap, just gapping, gap. Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> We've got uh, 32 members of the ECM on some of the blow pressure to our west southwest, and we throw at rain bands with that. And then we've got 19 with high pressure, which does include the operation run, with more in the way of northern blocking and low pressure still to the south, but slightly more of an easterly flow. So, as I said, a little bit of a snotty outlier, I think, the uh, ECM operation run today, although not necessarily say it's not an outlier because 19 is. is is, is quite a high number so it's a minority option but um not the majority but still quite a few going with the operation run there and um, in two time these are the options that we've got <coughs> as i get everybody it was the 5th of april 21 members of the ecm ensembles with high pressure to our west and northwest so that's drier but, but could be a bit chilly winds coming in from the east and from north east we've got 17 with low pressure to the north high pressure is to the south, and we'd be bringing winds from a flat westerly direction with that. So that's milder, could be a little bit more unsettled, though. And then we've got 13, basically like what we have over weekend with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west, and that will bring us a cold snap from um, the north, potentially, there. Um, it's a bit uncertain what's happening into the beginning of April, but certainly before that, the final week of March, looking very unsettled, including Easter. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high tides break down to week periods. The first week period, tensions from the 23rd to 27th of March. Next week will be unsettled with low pressure over the country. Week 2 is going to be even, even more unsettled. It's the 28th of March to the 3rd of April with a deep area of low pressure just to our west. Um, <laughs> Not much more to say about that other than the deluge is back in business. Now, a change for week <laughs> which will be the 4th to the 10th of April as high pressure then moves out to the northwest, top of low pressure in uh, Scandinavia. That could bring in a cold snap from the north and from the northeast there, but should be a bit drier. And then week 4 is the 11th to the 17th of April. High pressure then is in the North Atlantic, top of low pressure in Scandinavia. 
uh, with Rainbow Wing the impacts from a northwesterly direction. So that's a drier, but for both week three and four, it is a dry scenario, but we are on the, on the cool side of high pressure, so it would be cooler. It would be cool, um, it would be dry, but it would be cool, if you get what I mean. But anyway, it's a long way off, so it's not really worth, worth worrying about. Let's get things wrapped up. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's start with things about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to hear friends about Gaz, whether Weatherfield. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. So 47 subscribers gets us to 18.1k. So thank you uh, so much. So make sure it's put it up with a coffin. Um, <laughs> it'll go. One of these days it'll go. Um, but uh, thank you so much everybody. Right, I just started having another channel tomorrow. Again, have a 6 UK weather forecast. We'll probably have our next Easter update. Didn't do that today because we did the European Outlook and that like covers the Easter period as well. So we'd just be, you know, repeating ourselves really. So um, I think tomorrow we'll probably do uh, an Easter Outlook though. And then on, uh, we'll also do Jeremy Friday at a 10 to 14 day. No live stream, of course. Uh, now we'll stop Friday, Friday night lives. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, Bo. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.